Hello and welcome. So today's topic is our transverse sinus and oblique sinus. I did not talk about the sinus in yesterday because I forgot. Anyway, so the transverse sinus is actually horizontal passage. Sinus means a passage. I talked about these things in earlier videos. Anyway, so the horizontal passage presents in between two tubular structure enclosed by serous pericardium and this sinus or small horizontal space covered by only visceral layer okay so it is inside the viscera and above the epicardium of the heart so it is basically a intervisceral space or intervisceral structure okay or you can say intervisceral sinus because it is inside the visceral layer of the pericardium okay now the boundary in the boundary first of all one thing there is our ascending aorta and the pulmonary trunk now these two vessels are enclosed by tubular structure made by serous pericardium so this entire part makes the anterior boundary of the transverse sinus okay as you can see in this photo and posteriorly you will find the intraparietal part of the superior vena cava and upper margin of the left atrium okay so upper margin of the left atrium anyway now superiorly you will find the bifurcation of the pulmonary trunk and inferiorly you will find the upper surface of the left atrium so overall this structure is present above the left atrium okay now our oblique sinus so this oblique sinus is actually cul-de-sac shape appearance presents starts from the left atrium and close from all the side except from the inferior part or the below anyway so it is presents in between the parietal layer of the pericardium and the visceral layer of the pericardium basically inside the serous layer of the pericardium so you can say it is paratovisceral space or paratovisceral passage or paratovisceral sinus anyway in the boundary anteriorly you're going to find left atrium in the right side you're going to find right sided pulmonary veins and the inferior vena cava in the left side you're going to find left sided pulmonary veins only and superiorly you're going to find upper margin of the left atrium this is all about today's video so see you soon with my next topics till then bye